Hi, and welcome to Alice Davis Golf. Today I want to talk to you about how we load the right hip in the backswing. And a little drill to help give you the feels to stay more stable into your right hip in the backswing to allow you then to sort of explode off it and create power, uh, have a crept backswing and a downswing feel at the same time. So what I've got here is another club on the ground. Uh, it might be a bit difficult to see on this video, but there's a club on the ground there. And what I'm going to do is place the outside of my right foot on the grip of that club like so. And from there, if we actually take our normal posture and then go and make a, a backswing, we will try and feel we wind up without letting the hips sort of slide and sway over that. That foot will give some resistance now because it's arched up. And we're going to try and feel like we load into that right side and feel like we turn without this hip moving laterally to either side. So not reversing or not swaying. We want it to stay stable and the hips will turn into that right side. The amount the hips will turn will depend on your flexibility. So in a good player's version, there'll be anything probably from 25 degrees up to 45 degrees. But if you're particularly tight, it might be 50. If you're looser, it might well be down in the 25, 30 degree bracket. It doesn't really matter. All we're looking to see is a good balance, a good turn, good stability, and then obviously the correct sort of movement into the golf ball, where from this loaded position in the back swing, we'd let the lower half lead, and then we deliver the club into the ball correctly. So this little drill is just really purely for right hip stability, but it'll also help you feel like you're going to push off it on the way down and through. So give it a go. If you feel like you wander around a little bit on the backswing and you want to feel just a little bit shorter and tighter and, and sort of more compact and explosive in your golf swing. Good luck.